So this is a good time to talk about John Wooden. You know who John Wooden is? John Wooden wrote a book, and you actually write this down. This is semi-important. He wrote about the difference between winning and succeeding. Who knows the difference? Winning is some external goal has been accomplished. We have made our bonus. We won the NCAA championship. We won the conference. We got the plaque, the award, the bonus. We got the external thing on the scoreboard. It's scoreboard. Whoever listens to Jim Rome, scoreboard, right? Succeeding has nothing to do with winning. Succeeding has everything to do with, I got a highly capable group of people, I put them together, and every single day, every single week, every single month, they're getting better. John Wooden believed that if he recruited really high talent and they succeeded, meaning they got better at what they did every single day, then winning or not winning would matter less because they would have a feeling of success. Performance is defined as motivation times ability, which we all know from last year, but it's really defined as how we do what we do. Yeah? Productivity, that's what you're talking about. People from the outside keep giving us new goals, keep giving us new stuff to do. You cannot control so many external variables that this idea of building winning teams, again, it sounds really cool. It sounds really, right, it sells good books. Win, 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 baby, just win, win. Come on, we're not children here. We may win today and lose tomorrow. That's not the point. That's not what you're in this workshop to think about. You're in this workshop to think about how can I drive high performance? How can I get groups of eight, groups of six to perform at a consistently high level regardless of what the external goals are? You control your eight guys, your three teams, your management team. You drive for success. You drive for performance. Now, you got to make sure people feel like they're winning and you got to make sure they are winning. But look, I don't want to be naive with you. You can't control external variables that you can't control. Can you influence them? Sometimes. These people that look at external variables and blame them for non-winning, first of all, they're solving the wrong problem. Second of all, it's really just a form of whining. That's all it is. Okay, our goal is to do two million this year. Our goal is to do one million. Okay, I can't control the goal. What I can control is let's work toward two million. Let's be successful. Let's feel successful. Let's make sure we're doing things better each and every day and every week. It's a, little bit, um, it's a little bit foolish to go and worry about external variables that aren't controllable, particularly as a team leader, because you don't care about productivity. Of course you care about productivity. But you can't shoot a low golf score unless you have a good golf swing. <laughs>